Hello, this is Dr. Carmen Smith. I should say aloha. I'm coming to you from beautiful Kona, the big island in Hawaii. And I'm coming with a message of love as usual, but I also want to recognize that we're living in a time of chaos. It's not chaos here. This is representative of the life that I am creating based on eliminating the thoughts and behavior and intentions that no longer serve me. In other words, I'm coming up higher in my love vibration. So even though there's chaos around me, a true wise person knows that when I go within and connect with a universal energy that is stronger than any of the negative forces out there, that this thing can be turned around. Can it be turned around instantly? Well, it depends on your work. Are you willing to look within yourself instead of looking outside of yourself for all of the problems around you, thinking that, well, I don't do that, that's not me. That's not how the world changes. The world changes by us, all of us, coming into a consciousness that creates joy, bliss, and all of those things. Don't forget why you're here. You are here to experience whatever is going on, but from a higher viewpoint, from the God energy. And that's the only energy that can transmute and transform what is going on. So your thoughts, your beliefs, how you view yourself, your self-love, your ability to love people that do not agree with you, that do not look like you, that bring up all of the propaganda fears that we've closeted away in our thought process. When we're willing to clean that out and look at it honestly, not to beat ourselves up, not to feel shameful or guilty, but saying it no longer serves what I want to see in the world. Racism has been here for a long time. This is not cropping up an ugly head. That ugly head was always there. It was that we avoided seeing it and didn't want to look at it. Didn't want to see that there's hatred in this world. Didn't want to see that um, there's a lack of empathy and sociopathic thinking that goes on in this world and has created the policies and laws that people have been fighting against for years. So this is nothing new, but what is new is that there's an energy of love that is trying to burst through, that is trying to address it and look at it again. And this energy is more powerful. Let me repeat that because people think that love is passive. It is not. It is the most powerful force in the universe. It changes your individual life and it vibrates out to your family, to your community, and to the world. And we need to trust that love. It is real, it is powerful, it is within you, but release all the stuff so that it can come in more and vibrate through you. And when it does, you'll see what I see, which is a wonderful paradise. It comes from within and it vibrates out. Love you.